What's going on guys, Shadowstorm here, and today we are here with a different type of video, a mod showcase. 10 mods that enhance your vanilla Minecraft experience. But first, do you guys know that only 25% of my viewers are not subscribed? If you're in that small margin and enjoy my videos, I'd appreciate it if you go down and hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 100 subs and I really appreciate the support. Also, I've noticed that most of my random views come from an old avatar livestream I did a long time ago. If you guys are one of those people, let me know your favorite avatar element in the comments, and maybe it'll be a new avatar series soon in the future, who knows? Anyways, I hope you all enjoy the video, and remember, all mods will be in the description below. First up, we have the Towers of the Wild mod. Now, for anybody who has played Zelda, this might sound a little familiar. This mod adds Breath of the Wild style towers that randomly spawn throughout your world. You have to do a bit of parkour to get up them, but there's a loot chest at the top and a great view of your surroundings that makes this very worth it. Other than that though, it doesn't really add much to the game, which is why it's on this list of mods that are pretty vanilla friendly. Our second mod here is the Just A Raft mod. Now as the name suggests, this mod is literally, well, just a raft. It functions the same as a boat, but only holds a single person. They aren't hard to make either, just three logs and four string, and you can even place them on lands just like boats. This mod is great for people building harbors or seaside places or who just want to spice up their boat variety. There are even different variations for each type of wood, excluding warped and crimson. It's nothing groundbreaking though, just some rafts, which is why it makes a spot on this list. Next up is the Repurposed Structures mod. This mod makes existing structures such as villages look way better, and even adds new ones such as jungle villages, mountain villages, biome themed wells, and dungeons, stone mine shafts, and even a jungle version of a nether fortress which is built out of stone bricks. Up next is the better mine shafts mod. This mod adds, well, better mine shafts. All of these mine shafts have biomes such as desert and snow. They also have vertical sections and even scattered abandoned workplaces. It adds a lot of life to mine shafts and variation and makes them feel like they were really inhabited at one point. These mine shafts are of course scattered throughout the world and they aren't that rare. I mean, I was looking when I was recording this and I found two in a matter of minutes in spectator mode. Next up is the decorative blocks mod. This mod adds stuff like pillars, chandeliers, seats, supports, and way more. On the screen here, you'll obviously see I made a little house-like place using a lot of these blocks, and honestly, I loved the way it turned out. You can use them in so many different ways, and there's different log variations and all sorts of stuff that makes it really look good. Now, compared to some other aesthetic mods like the Macaw mods, this one is definitely a little lackluster, but it still has a lot to offer. It also adds functionality to other blocks. For example, if you destroy hay or shear it, it will spill out like water, and if you throw blaze powder into fire, it makes a bonfire. That's pretty cool. Our fifth mod here is the Botany Plants mod. This mod adds pots that allow you to farm specific plants and, well, cute little pots. This allows you to farm anywhere, as these pots don't need water or even take up that much space. They even include pumpkins and melons, which is a bit surprising as they are bigger than the pots themselves. You can speed them up with bone meal or even make a hopper pot that will auto put the crops in a chest once they're done. You can watch them grow in real time, which personally I think is really cool. Now unfortunately, this mod also requires an API mod called Bookshelf, so if you are going to use this mod in one of your worlds, make sure you have that installed. I won't be linking Bookshelf in the description because the page I have for Botany Pots has a link itself, so make sure you get both of them. Coming up next is the Astaker Carts mod. This mod allows you to make carts that will attach to your horses. There are three different types of carts, supply cart, animal cart, and the plow. These all do as the name suggests. One acts as a mobile chest and even shows what's stored in it, which is pretty neat. The animal carts allow you to put animals in them, almost like a boat. This means easy transporting animals or villagers for farms, or if you're in a multiplayer, your friends can ride in them too. The plow cart allows you to attach three hoses to it and when put down allows you to create farmland behind you. All of these don't add much besides convenience and more reason for having horses, which personally I think is good because once you're late game at having Elytra, there's absolutely no reason for having a horse other than owning a pet, so this definitely adds some reason. Our next mod is called Dungeons Plus. This mod adds a lot of new dungeons into the game, and they vary by biome too. There are towers, berry dungeons, ice dungeons, ocean dungeons, the leviathan 
skeleton, and even nether and end ruins, which is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. This mod adds a bunch more challenge and reward without having anything new in Minecraft blocker mob-wise. Now, this mod is another one that needs an API, so if you decide to use it, make sure you check out the page and that both are installed. Our second to last mod is the Simple Farming mod. This mod adds a lot, and I mean a lot of new food items to Minecraft. It adds all sorts of fruit trees and berry bushes you can find spread throughout your world. You can make vineyards and even ferment things to make wine. You can make jams, scarecrows, different types of cakes, pie sandwiches, and a lot more. Way too much to cover here. Now, if you're like me and get a bit bored of the limited foods in Minecraft, you'll definitely want to take a look at this mod. Like all the other mods on this list, it is 1.16 compatible, so definitely check it out. Our final mod on this list is the Rope Bridge mod. This mod adds a grappling hook that will auto make a rope bridge as long as you have enough materials in your inventory. You'll need a steady supply of slabs and strings, but really that's about it. It also adds another grappling hook that will add ladders instead of bridges, that way you can climb things super easily. Just aim it at the top of where you want the ladder and it will place if you have enough materials. This makes traversing big areas a lot easier without really changing too much. As an added bonus, here's a resource pack I found on accident while making the script for this video. It replaces the Melahai disc with a Myla Manberg disc from the Dream SMP and I don't know about you guys, but I have been engrossed in the storyline of the Dream SMP since late September, early October. So I really love having this in the game as a little tribute. I found this while scrolling through memes on Reddit, coincidentally enough, so the post will be linked in the description below. Of course, it has nothing to do with me, but it's super cool. And that's it for this video. I really enjoyed making it. It was very different from any of my previous videos since it involved research and scripting and so many different things. If you guys enjoyed it, I know I said it in the beginning, but please consider subscribing. It would mean the absolute world to me. Oh, and if you guys didn't know, I actually made a Twitch. I stream on there every once in a while when I get motivated or bored, so if you guys want to see non-YouTube related stuff or interact with me, go give that a follow. I also mentioned Avatar in the intro to this video. If you guys want to see a series on that, let me know in the comments. Thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you guys next time. I heard there was a special place Where men could go and emancipate The brutality and the tyranny of their rulers well, this place is real, you need and fret With Wilbur, Tommy, Tubbo, Fuck Erect It's a very big and not blown up remember